Hello and welcome back to 3D Drawing for Model Railway. Um, today I'm going to announce the next large project I'm going to be working on. Um, so the one I'm going to be looking at now is the Plasma Fuhrer DTS-62. Um, now, I've got a, a whole raft of photos that Paul Wade's kindly supplied me that we can work through. Uh, there's you know, every view you can imagine of this machine that we can look at. The one thing that I will note on this is Obviously, this, this should be a self-propelled model, um, but unfortunately, because of how it's designed, I don't think there's really going to be any way of motorising it, because above the bogey towers here, you've got a massive big gap here, and you've got the same on the other side. Unless, you know, you can have some sort of gearbox that comes down into the bogey, which I think would be really difficult to do with the motor sitting inside this cab. This is probably going to be one of those models that, is either towed around which you know is perfectly valid it has buffers and in, uh, do um, have photographs of it being towed around um, or it'll be sat in a siding somewhere um, but it is quite an interesting little model that we can we can look at making you know there's quite some easy shapes to do like the cabs the, the main frame and there's also some quite complicated gubbins underneath that we can look at um, I, I am modeling it in engage um, so all my measurements will be a, a 1 to 148 scale. That doesn't limit the, the fact that you can follow along with any scale you want. Uh, you can just change the measurements to the scale that you, you prefer, which isn't particularly difficult. Um, I have done a video previously where I discuss how you can go about changing them. Okay, uh, the, the plans I'm going to be using, they are readily available on the internet. There's two places you can find them. They're both on the same website which is the Barrowmore Model Railway Group's website. This plan here comes from the NSE resource guide, which is down near the bottom of the prot prototype page, the resource guide there, NSE infrastructure, and the model is on page 67. The other one is on the same website. If we scroll up to the top here, the on-track plant section, on track machines working on 20k 25kb this is on page 37 here now <coughs> unfortunately neither of these plans are particularly good um, for or clear for things like the measurements this one's a lot better much crisper line so i will do the majority of the work from that um, but paul has also supplied a if i load these up th these are all his measurements that he took from an actual machine out in the in the field and all the numbers on here are in inches so we can just work along mixing the plan in with these to be able to orientate our model how we'd like it the only downside now really is i'm due to start back to work in in seven days time so videos won't be as frequent as they have been previously i'll try to upload them as often as i can but it will just be i'm fitting this in now in my hobby time rather than being while i'm at home not being able to work so we'll work through this model it might take a little bit longer than previous one but hopefully this will give you another model at the end of it that you know can sit in in a side and i'll be towed around your layout and, and look quite nice when it's finished off afterwards if you have any questions or comment comments as we go along please leave them below the more comments the more likes that the video gets the more the youtube likes it and obviously then the more youtube likes it the better the algorithm works so hopefully you'll enjoy this little project and yeah please follow along thanks for watching 